So we've done um, everything we need. Now we need to actually start creating the files. Normally in Laravel, you will have to start creating the files one by one. We have to start creating the view file, the controller file. And then I know that Laravel has a controller resource, but that takes time too. But we're going to use something beautiful that is called a Laravel generator. It will simply generate all the files we need by looking at our database. It's, it's simple to install. So for the next two or three videos, we'll be installing it. But once we install it, it will save us um, a lot of time. So um, you need to visit a website called um, infyom, that is I-N-F-Y-O-M.com. So I'm going to just let you know what uh, the route is here. The route is labs.ifm, I-F, sorry, um, L-A-B-S, that is labs.infyom.com slash Laravel generator slash docs slash 5.5 um, slash installation all right so it's just it's it's arranged like the laravel um uh, application where you can um just select the laravel version um one thing you first need to know is that we are using laravel 5.6 and uh, this generator stopped at 5.5 so somehow we're gonna do a hack so that it will work for 5.6 but first of all let us try run a smooth installation first so to run the installation is simple. You need to add the packages. You understand? You need to add the packages. And then um, we have to go to our composer.json and um, add these. So I'll copy this in VOM. So now I've copied this, I will have to go to my Laravel application. Let me minimize everything. So this is my Laravel application. There's a file called composer.json. So here I'm looking for the require. Look at where the require is. So here I'm just going to put a comma. Come to this place. Control V. Paste what we copied. Beautiful. I like my stuff to be well arranged. So cool. And also here. Cool. Save. Now um, this is 5.5. 5.5. We need to change it to 5.6. Just to save um, ourselves from having it installed for 5.5 and running into errors but if you're running on level 5.5 cool uh, then you you don't need to change it all right so this is a small hack that i noticed then the next thing we are going to do is um we need to add these other ones if we if you want to build something that has to do with apis uh, then you can add these other ones i like to add everything i like to add everything so paste beautiful now the next thing we're going to do is the next step sorry uh we're going to add doctrine debal this is very important because it will help us to generate laravel from the database generate migration and files from the database so put your comma and then add the debal doctrine all right the next thing we're going to do is right here we're going to run composer updates if you run composer updates composer will look at your your JSON file to look through this file and reinstall every other thing here or install every new, every new thing here so we're gonna go to the command prompt here we are right click paste composer updates as you can see I'll hit enter and then this is supposed to take two or three minutes uh, or, se or seconds depending on how fast your system is but once it's done all these other um, packages and repositories will be added to your system so let's see in the next video.